Let me introduce you to the talking head. Yeah. <laughs> that would be George live from Las Vegas. What's yeah. happening, man? It's Look quite at, nice out here. You guys missed he, one hell. He just got back from the Mayweather fight. <laughs> no, fuck that noise. I ain't got that kind of bread. <laughs> George, you sit up in there. Printing money. Yasha see the spread he's laid up in, man. He, George is sitting up in here looking yeah, like don't Hef and don't shit. feel too sorry for this guy. Yeah, this motherfucker sitting up here looking like half in a fucking bathrobe and shit. What yeah. the fuck, man? Missing the Cuban cigars, all in. <laughs> <laughs> got a cashmere bathrobe, pimpin'. Yeah, man. Uh, introductions. Um, www.uncutsports.com. Get your asses over there if you haven't done so and subscribe. We're going to move the shout outs. The shout outs are to Mel and Jess. We also want to give a shout out to Danny Gomez. His gamer tag is Danny three, Danny Boy 310. That's D A N N I E B O I 310. Now, that's on PlayStation 3. That's on PlayStation 3. PS3. Yeah. Uh, there was some exciting fucking fighting tonight. Wow. I mean, there were so many things going on. There was the fucking hockey. There was the damn NBA playoffs, the Kentucky Derby. It was Cinco de Mayo. There was UFC on fuck. Huh? The Kentucky <laughs> Derby. That's, did I say the Kentucky? Yeah. The Kentucky Derby. I'll, I'll have another. <laughs> yeah, I'll have another. Um, but the, Kent the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> me and, Jim, me and Jimmy have been killing all. Brewsters, huh? Red Cup says it all. Yeah, we've been killing Brewsters. But, uh. The UFC on Fox, let me explain something to you. What did you say? Jimmy was sitting here going, Danny White, I mean, Dan <laughs> <laughs> Danny, Dana White is jerking his dick. Because let me tell you something, that was an exciting. Well, I did notice the table seemed to, you know, sort of be standing up. I mean, he was he was loving this. I mean, th these that's fights were just far, awesome. That's by far their best product they've put on oh, Fox yet. It is. And for anybody who was introduced. I mean, I was getting a hard on. <laughs> I wasn't. The, the, it, much. Let a small child walk. <laughs> Right. Um, the, it, for anyone who was introduced to MMA and got to witness that, they were like, wow, this is fucking exciting yeah. as shit. Um, and it started off with Pat Berry going up against LaVar wow. Johnson. Le LaVar, was, that was ridiculous. You know, related to The Rock. Is he? Huh. Yeah, that, that's what they were saying. He's, he's either a brother, half man. All you black people are related. First I know. Off, <laughs> he's right. To Johnson, the right. Rock. Really? Damn, I, I, mean, take, I mean, that guy has looked impressive. I mean, obviously, he survived getting shot. I mean, he came in there and just said, fuck this. <laughs> Pat Berry mounted him. Pat, yeah, he was shot. You he know, was he shot, was, yeah. He was shot at a family picnic, man. Yeah, barbecue. That's why he's got that big scar. He, he, he got barbecue. His ribs are barbecued. Yeah, for real. He got straight He got straight fucking if the, a few family people. I don't know if it was family members, but like four <laughs> or five people got shot. Seriously. Over what, a game of dominoes? True story, nigga, true story. Anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, he knocked Pat Berry down and out, and I was loving it because literally they didn't stop the fight. It, they did not stop the fight, and Jimmy and I were sitting here, George, going, uh, this guy looks seriously like a human punching bag. You oh, hear that, but this guy great. looked like a human yeah, punching bag. Yeah, he was bag. punching the bag in the gym, and finally the, the bag fell out of the ceiling. It just fell out, man. He was, he was lighting Pat Berry up. Pat Berry's biggest disadvantage is his height, in my opinion. Right, in his I short mean, arms. around 6'2", six, 6'3", six, he'd be nasty at a heavyweight. He's just too damn short and doesn't have the, the length that right. the bigger guys he goes against does. Absolutely. George, next stop for Pat Berry. Uh, well, considering Strike Force doesn't have a heavyweight, um, he'll fight on Fuel TV, and then after <laughs> that, he'll be on Backyard Brawlers 12. Let me Backyard tell you, he'll be, he'll, he'll be Fuel in Fuel TV. Yeah. Because people will tune in to watch him. Yeah. I will. Oh, yeah. I mean, that guy, he, me too. He's a heavyweight Chris Lieben. Yeah. yeah. He throws he throws bricks. He doesn't give a shit. Now, middleweight bout, oh. Usama Pajares. Versus Alan Belcher. Now I'm going to tell you what everybody, you know, you know how powerful is. It's just such such oh. an, a fucking ground technician. But right. man, Belcher, it was like we were sitting there looking at this fight, going, "This is an exciting." Belcher went into fight. that man's house, punched him in the face, took his shit, and left. Pretty much. I mean, he really did. It was an exciting ground fight. Like that's the kind of ground fight you like to see. Something where they're just a lot of action, mixing it up and shit. And uh, it's not where they're dry humping each other, just <laughs> sitting there fucking making soft porn. You know, right, right. It, yeah, there, was lots of, there was lots of transitions. Belcher knew what was coming. Transitions. Belcher, I mean, Belcher trained with the same guy who trained Paul Harris. Right. So I mean, he, he knew. And Paul what Harris. It just showed you is Paul Harris obviously relies. Way too much on his jujitsu. Yeah, and he had nothing else to give Belcher. And then it was right. raining like, bows. I'm taking your lunch money and going home. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was it was it was unbelievable. But he ended up, you know, uh, Belcher ended up uh, getting a TKO with elbows and punches in the uh, actually in the first round. Yeah, that, it, it was great. Quick. Now, uh, welterweight bout 
Josh Koscheck versus Johnny Hendricks. Another fucking oh. exciting fight where these guys were just throwing bombs and hit. The one thing that came out of this fight is, you know, both of these guys, you better fucking take a baseball bat and hit them upside and the head. You know what? The, the hardest out. thing for me to figure out about the fight was who had the better chin. Because both of these guys were throwing bricks, no. and both these motherfuckers were taking them. They were taking them, man. I mean, it's, it's and you know, at the end of the day, when the smoke cleared, <laughs> it was a fucking battle. Yeah. At this, you know, Johnny Hendricks had his fucking hand raised. And uh, some people, some people. It uh, could have, it truly, to me, it was a draw. The fight was a draw. It was a draw. Me, Joe, we, Jimmy and I had it a draw. What did you have it, George? Um, I had it as, and I was on the 215 driving people back from the hockey tournament. <laughs> <laughs> but George you know, didn't but, get to but, witness that but fight. No, no, you know what uh, he did? He felt the punches. You felt the punches, though, George. Yeah, them, those motherfuckers had to be rocking Vegas. But, uh, but yeah, uh, Kenny Florian was on Twitter, and he basically said he thought that Koscheck had won it. I had it a draw, but obviously the judges what had I Johnny Hendricks. Is what you're more impressed with, Johnny Hendricks' beard or Josh Koscheck? Well, no, I'm, I'm, I tell you what, I'm most impressed with right now. I'm I'm impressed with fucking Johnny Hendricks' ability to fucking hunt with a bow. Well, that motherfucker, yes. right, he that country motherfucker was f fucking uh, hunting fish with a bow. Yeah, a lighted bow. Dude, fuck, don't fuck with that well, guy. My, the most impressive part for me was that Johnny Hendricks made it through TSA on a flight from Dallas to uh, Newark to <laughs> right. actually uh, fight. Yeah, I mean that's he's a TSA nightmare. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. He's a he's a he's just a pure nightmare. I will tell you what, because that guy, he walks in your house. That ugh. oh, that left hand's ridiculous. Let's, let's, let's move on to the final. The, yes, the, the one Diaz uh. brother who's still allowed to fight in the UFC, <laughs> right? You know, can get sanctioned to fight. Right, and that's Nate Diaz, and he was up against Jim Miller, who a lot of people thought. I, I wasn't one person. I thought, I mean, Jim Miller obviously has a great record in the UFC. He's won an incredible amount of lightweight fights. But I just, I, I don't know. I thought it was a lot. Of, what did you think? I, I thought he was outclassed, I'm, that being Jim Miller. I, I mean, I think Jim Miller is a great fighter. And I mentioned something to Kevin about maybe right. Jim Miller going to 145. He's just, to me, his stature at 155, he just, you know, he's too short, too short of arms. He's not going to be able to threaten anybody like Nate Diaz. Yeah. And Nate Diaz, on, uh, in contrast, is so long and lengthy, man. But oh, I he, tell you what, if, if you look at the, the Diaz brothers, as of late, Nate has been even more impressive than Nick. He is just, his boxing skills and, are nasty. And those cats are in their own world, man. They're the, fucking, the press con, the, or I mean, the, the, after, <laughs> the after fight interviews are, are just, they're, they're golden. They're fucking unbelievable. Now, George, did you, did you get off the fucking 215 in time <laughs> to catch the fucking interviews? Yeah, I, I got, actually, I got to watch the whole fight. I mean, oh. what, it, what it showed me is, is the Diaz brothers are so well-rounded. I don't think they, when they train, I don't think they leave anything out. I yeah. think they, they train their stand-up as well as they train their ground game, their jiu-jitsu's on point. His mm -hmm. take, I mean, I, I just think both of them are, are pretty well-complete fighters. Well, right? I, I honestly I don't. proved it again tonight. And, and if this doesn't put him up near the top for a shot at the 155 belt, I don't know what does. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I don't know if those guys train. I think that's just their life. They just fight. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they just... I, they I don't have training camp. That's I just like, their day-to-day -day activities. It really is. It shows, but it shows in the ring. And it shows, I mean, Jim Miller tried to stand up. That didn't work. It got down to the ground. That didn't work. Next thing you know, Jim Miller's like, oh, he's got my back. Oh, I'm done. Oh, yeah. He just, yeah, he's just... They're, they're, both of those brothers are just so crafty on the ground as well as standing up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Nate, I think that propels Nate Diaz top five light lightweight. I mean, obviously, you've got, you know, Benson Henderson. You've got Frankie Egger. You've got out, the guy who trains out of his... His camp, Gilbert Melendez, and uh, and uh, and Pettis. You know, right. I mean, there. It's, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, it's some it's some nasty lightweights out there. But I mean, Nate Diaz is definitely with that group. Um, but that that is going to pretty much wrap it up, George. What else do you have planned tonight? Because you're in your you look like you're just fucking just saying fuck it. I'm just. You're, I mean, considering it's only ten sixteen here, as soon as I get done with y'all, I think it's room service time again. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesus. Damn, half Look at this heart. guy living it I up out there. room service yeah. time up here. Yeah, it is, it is 2,500 square foot suite there on the 36th floor. What you gonna do, motherfucker? They don't, they don't fucking bring room service donuts up in that bitch. <laughs> Fuck if they don't. Have you seen my menu? They bring, they, bring, they bring you whatever you want when you stay on those floors, right. man. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm half tempted to tell one of these... Um, People of Cinco de Mayo to run down the run down the street, grab me a Cinnabon. Man, flip, take that, take that monitor and flip. Show us your view from the uh, where you're at in Vegas, real quick. Can you do that? Um, take, show us the I, room you're in. You want you? Well, George is going to take us. If you guys follow Mona, you should be able to see the room that George is in, kind of. That's outside. That's uh -huh. the um, living room area. That oh. over there is the bar. 
Yeah, yeah. Shit, they had an interior decorator come in there. Yeah, we had a big suite. <laughs> George and I sitting here in my busted ass house. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I can't nice. I the bedroom because Jesse's, Jesse's in the bedroom watching TV. Oh, okay, tell Jesse we said what's up. Um, okay, well, we're going to wrap it up and uh, we will talk to you guys. George, I will, I will hit you up and uh, everybody out there, peace. See ya.